Yo, still bills with the Dizzle, man. I'm it's damn near three o'clock. I'm just not getting off work. I'm exhausted. <sighs> My work is you know, a lot of lifting, a lot of carrying shit up the steps, man. So that shit wears on you, man. When you do that shit all day, it's grueling. It can be real grueling, man. But peep game, man. I want to get into something, man. Um, it's a lot of people who's real, you know, they real tweaked off of what um Bavall had to say about Canelo Alvarez in comparison to uh Zordo. And I think that shit is dope. That shit is dope. It's all fine and dandy and all that, but I don't want people jumping out the window with that. I don't think he should go back up there and fight no goddamn Dimitri Bavall. I don't. I do not, man. It's easier for the more, you know, the fighter with more tools in his tool shed than, you know, to adjust than it is the other fighter now. Couple that with him actually being naturally bigger than you and the best defensive fighter in the sport. I do not want people encouraging Canelo to go back up there and fight a Dimitri Bivol. Now, I think if Canelo fights a lot smarter, it can, he, can make it, he can make the fight a lot more competitive. You did, because he, he went up there expecting to just break this dude, just punch through. <clears throat> he went up there expecting to just punch through this dude and just shatter his guard. Like it's a street fighter game, you know, y'all ain't gonna catch that, you know, y'all don't be around no gamers like that. But he just expected the guard shatter Dimitri Duvall and it didn't work. Now, granted, his arm suffered, but, and I'm sure he felt that shit when he took, like, damn, that shit tender as a motherfucker. But it wasn't enough to wear, oh uh, man, cool. I, I just got I gotta drop my arm down and just let you just hit me in my face. To take to alleviate some of this pain up off my arm. It wasn't nothing to that degree. It wasn't nothing to the degree of him getting moved around the ring, getting hit in the arm. So if he went in there and actually looked to score instead of to hurt Dimitri Baval, he can make it a, actually a, a much more competitive fight, I believe. But I'm still not giving him the edge in the fight. I'm still not giving him the edge in the fight. And why do I say that? Because Dimitri Duval can punch on the go. I think Canelo really showed his um his improvement in foot, you know, in foot speed. Not speed, but just intellect. His foot intellect with the, the Caleb Plant fight. I think he did. I think he did. But Dimitri Duval just he showed with Zerto Ramirez that he can fight in his like he can step in behind the jab and he can step in behind the jab and straight. He can bang in the pocket with you. He doesn't have to circle around you, man. So he can fight in all three distances, man. Like, it's, that's a hard dude to deal with. That I think Bavall can fight at cruiserweight in all actuality, or at the very least, bridgerweight. He's that nice. He's like that. He's like that, bro. Him and, him and Better BF can fight at bridgerweight and cruiserweight at the very least. So I'm not so... I, I don't think that... um. I don't want people to just jump out the window and say, oh, man, you heard what he said about Zerto. So, nah, man, fuck all that. And keep shit a stack with you. This isn't a um, this isn't a clarification that he would beat Zerto. It's not, even though I think he could. Because Zerto is, um, he's a lot more flat-footed. And he's just, I don't think he does anything better than Canelo Alvarez. I don't think it's nothing that he does better than Canelo Alvarez. So I think Canelo can beat him, but that doesn't say that isn't the same as saying that he would absolutely beat Zerto. I'm not I'm not jumping out the window and saying that shit, bro. Niggas get shit fucked all the way up. And that's just the end all be all. So I'm glad with, with Canelo, with him getting the validation that he got from a bona fide light heavyweight. As opposed to him, you know, over a fighter that they that people have been saying that he's dug for all this time. I think that shit is dope. I, I love it. I love it, man. I, I, I love it. But I, I just don't I don't I don't think he needs to he needs to be going up there looking to fight Dimitri Bivall again, man. Um and if he does, I can't too much be on his nose, but I, I just I I don't know, man. I think with fighters, you know, when you get to a point where it's like I'm I can do what the fuck I wanna do. And you start ignoring what the fans want. That's where it gets a little shaky. And I'm a dude who supports Canelo Alvarez pay per views, bro. I don't want to. I have no interest in seeing you go up there and fight Bavall again. I do not. I do not. All that fluctuating and weight and everything, man. Fuck all that shit, bro. That shit is no, no. 
you fluctuating in weight that could and now granted it's a seven pound difference between the divisions but still that seven pounds makes a difference so i don't want i don't want to see i'm not interested in him jumping up to go tangle with dimitri Bavall at this point in time he can do it later on down the line go ahead and sweep david benavidez and jamal charlo and, 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 and demetrius andre just go ahead and sweep them cats up under the rug man and then let's go back up there then i wouldn't mind it because then it'd be like it, it's no it's no it's nothing left to doubt they're gonna try and interject david morrell into the no david morrell wasn't a factor while while canelo was making his rounds at 168 pounds Go at, at least David Benavidez. At the very least, David Benavidez. If he beats Caleb Plant. If he beats Caleb Plant. If he beats Caleb, if, if he loses to Caleb Plant, then I'm no. Nah, I don't want to see Canelo versus Caleb Part 2. I don't want to see that shit. I do not. There's nothing else to see. <laughs> nothing. I don't want to see it. So, um, yeah, man, um, I don't want people jumping out the window with this because I'm seeing a lot of channels make this, um, you know, make content off of it. Oh, man, he beat, Duvall said he, you know, he hit harder than Zerto. Well, I mean, he didn't allow Zerto to hit him. He didn't allow Zerto to hit him. Now, granted, you can, you know, that could, you know, that could, that could speak to Canelo Alvarez's punch selection and punch placement. It can speak to that as well. It definitely could. All of that shit plays a factor. It's both sides, but I think he was a little bit more. I think he was a little bit more in tune in the fight with not Bavar, but uh, uh, Zerto, because you know it was the you know this dude is he came into the he came into the ring of fucking cruiserweight. You know what I'm saying? He's already taller than him, so it's like man, I need to be a little bit more on my you know on my p's and q's while I'm fighting this dude because. I don't know about this motherfucker right here, man. I don't know about this motherfucker right here. As of what Canelo, early on, Canelo had a lot of success. You know, Bavar, I don't know if he was getting trapped on the rope or if he was just laying a trap on the rope. But Canelo was at, Canelo was scoring. He was, you know, he was, he did good early on. He did good early on. I forget when the tie started to change, but it wasn't long. It wasn't long at all, man. But the point is, I don't want people getting comfortable with the idea that, oh, shit, because he did better than Zerto Ramirez with Dimitri Bivar, then that means he should go back up there and fight Bivar right now. No, I don't agree with that. I do not agree with that. I do not agree with that. I don't want him getting greedy. Go back down to 168 pounds and do what it is that people want you to do. And that's fight one of them motherfuckers down there. I don't want to see you fight either. Of all again, I, I just don't. I don't, and you're allowing your ego to get in your way because you, for some reason, think, Yo, I want my rematch. I want my rematch. I want my rematch. That could be a multitude of things. That could be, Yo, I feel like I'm just better than him. I feel like I can beat him. Okay, if you feel like that, you know, all right, that's one thing, man, but no. Because I think at this point in time, like, can, can he revert back to how he looked against Danny Jacobs? Where he's, you know, he's poised in the pocket. He's keeping his head off of the off center line. He's slipping seven and eight jabs consecutively. Stepping back off hooks, getting up under hooks. Countering to the body. Can he do that now? Because I think he's gotten real comfortable with just pressure fighting, high guard defense, catching, shooting, and, put, and just, you know, obliterating your guard. Because that's not going to beat Bavar. That isn't going to beat Bavar. And as we saw, he got gassed out. Did I can salute anybody. Like, he did, he jumped right into the shark. He jumped right into the crock pool. He jumped right into it. He didn't take no tune-ups or none of that shit. He fought up there once. And the dude that he fought up there, wasn't the, that wasn't the crusher. That was Sergey Kovalev. It's a difference. And he was losing that fight up until the knockout. Bavar is fresh and he's in his prime. Do you go back up there and fight Bavar? Nah, bro, because I don't see the, I don't see a high rate of success if you went up there and you did that. It'd be commendable. It'd be commendable, man, but I, I don't know. It's just, can you make that small, minute adjustment of not getting drunk off of the power? Can you go up there and look to set up shots just to score? I don't want to hurt you. I just want to touch you. Let me clip that chin. Let me clip the body. Let me let me let me score scoring shots. Fuck trying to punch through your guard. Fuck trying to knock you out. 
That's a drug, you know what I'm saying? When you knocking out motherfuckers who have never even been dropped before. Caleb Plant had never been dropped before. Billy Joe Saunders, to my knowledge, had never been dropped before. Callum Smith got battered. 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 He battered that man. I'm saying, bro, like, you realize, damn, man, I'm, I'm, I'm five foot seven. I can do this to these tall bohemian motherfuckers. Oh, shit. All right, cool. Well, this is the wave then. All right, cool. But them set, that seven pounds of added muscle makes all the difference in the world, man. So I don't want you getting drunk off of the, off of the, off of the, um, off of the validation that you got from Dimitri Duvall. And it's a lot of people that are running to their YouTube channels and making these chat, making these videos. Oh, yeah. He said he could be. No, fuck all that. Fuck all that shit. Because it's not even clear that if he could beat Zerto Ramirez, even though I think he can. So I'm saying, man, just, just pump the brakes. I don't need I don't need any incur I don't need anybody encouraging this man to go up there and get a rematch in with Bavar. <clears throat> and I really hope Bavar sticks to his guns. No, I'm not about to fight you again, bro. I'm not about to fight you again. I'm not doing it. I'm not fighting you again. My career is not being, I'm, I'm, you're not about to dictate my career. After that first payday, Bavar's good. He's a champion. Pound for pound talent, fighter of the year. That's gonna come with some lucrative reward. I, I, it just has to. That man ain't hurting for cash, man. That man is an accomplished light heavyweight. Undefeated, one of the baddest boxers on the planet. Bavar ain't nothing to fuck with. That man is not strapped for cash. And I hope he sticks to his guns. He told, no, I'm not, no. I'm looking to get undisputed out the way. I'm looking to get undisputed out the way. And I don't know when, um, <clears throat> I don't, uh, it, I think, um, I think him and Bitter, uh, I think Better Be and Anthony Yard fight either January or February. I could be wrong. It could be next. No, nah, I think it's next year. I think it's 2023. They, you know, they, they lock on. So if they fight, it's going to take them at least three months to get that undisputed match over, you know, across the line between Better Be Evan Bavar. Just eat up as much time as we possibly can to prevent that Canelo Alvarez rematch from happening. Because I don't want to see it. I wouldn't turn it down. I'd watch it most definitely. But I don't want to see it. Because it's still unfinished business at 168 pounds. That I know for a fact you can deal with it. I know for a fact you can deal with these dudes at 168 pounds. I know for a fact you're not going to be the underdog going into that fight. I know that for a fact. Everybody, want, his detractors want him to go back up and fight Bavar. Yeah, they do. After they said, you know, Dimitri Bavar was a cherry pick. I just thought that was the, the like, you dudes is not watching boxing, bro. There's no way you call, there's no way you call a champion at 175 pounds. Number one. He's not even unified, and people still think he's the bad. He's the best light heavyweight in the. It's the Terence Crawford and Earl Spence thing. We all know who's the. All right, yeah, Spence has the majority of the belts, but we know who the baddest man in the division is. Same with him. A lot of people was like, yeah, we know who got the belts, but we all know who the baddest man at 175 pounds is. So if you're calling that man a cherry pick, yeah, yeah, I just, I just really question a lot of you dudes' acumen as it pertains to the sport. Cause these niggas is already they you know their 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 scope doesn't venture past the North American border. They don't give a fuck what's going on with the Mexicans, or if not the Mexicans, the Hondurians. If not the Hondurians, the Panamanians, the Colombians, the Cubans, the Dominicans, the Puerto Rocks. They don't care about that. Let alone the motherfuckers over in the UK, in Russia, and Kazakhstan, and the Ukraine. They don't care about none of them dudes. Australia. They don't care about none of them. They don't care about the accent is gonna throw them off. Oh, we American, we gonna dust them niggas off. Okay, it sound good. They don't give a fuck about none of them niggas. So all they care about is what's happening in America. So to see Canelo lose in the capacity that he lost in, it invigorated them. Now they want it, oh man, before, before, before. Now they all dick riding before. Like you dudes are some of the most. God, y'all fucking disgust me, man. Y'all disgust me. Y'all disgust me. Utterly disgusting. Utterly ridiculous. How sick is this? Shout out my man Ho. But yeah, bro. 
I don't want to see Canelo jump back up there and fight Bavar. Not right now. Not right now. And I hope before I hope Bavar strings that man on, and it it it, it ignites a certain you know a, a a a level of hunger in Canelo. You know, you don't turn me down, bro. I turn you down. I hope he does that. I hope he drags this out for about a year and a half. Drag it for about a year and a half. Because in a year and a half, there will be nothing left to talk about at 168 pounds. It'd be nothing. It's going to be nothing left to talk about. Canelo would have got all of his, you know, knocked everybody off. They're gonna try and interject David Morrell into the into the equation. You know. It's always somebody new that they're gonna want him to fight. Oh man, why are you ducking so and so? Even though Morrell got seven fights and he ain't fought nobody of no. He's a beast though, don't get it fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Definitely don't get it fucked up. Cuban school, but well, he's not your prototypical Cuban boxer. That man is active. That man is that that. You know, that man is a, you know, that man is a dude who's going to press the issue. You know what I'm saying? He's not economical with his punches. He ain't Laura. He ain't rigging down. He's not them. So that's just how I'm feeling about it, man. I like that Bavar gave Canelo his flowers. And it's dope because, you know, that you know having power, having power is a talent. Motherfuckers can say whatever the fuck it is they want to say. But to shut somebody's lights out. Or not even shut their lights out, but just really just you hit them once and they feel that shit like oh shit. It takes them a while to get their bearings back up under them. They don't just recuperate from that shit just right off the rip. That's a talent. So for you to carry that power from 147 pounds to 175 pounds, I think that's a big deal. I think that's a big deal. I just think you know, and and had Canelo touched anybody else's chin in the division, I think he feel to touch Bavar, not Bavar, but better BF's chin. Better BF could have been on E on Queasy Street. Because Better BF doesn't have the best, he doesn't have the greatest defense, and he's been dropped multiple times. I just I think Bavar's chin is better, and I think he has a far better defense. But that speaks volumes to who Canelo is as a power puncher and as a fighter. That he, he can go up there and tap these motherfuckers and they, you know, they feel that shit. Hit him on the arm. He's creating bruises and blemishes on the arm. I think that's dope. So shout out to him. However, I don't want to see him jump back up there and fight Bavar in the now. There's still shit to be handled at 168 pounds. And I just think you need to go down there. Like, really, you need to be put. If you are, if you are to get that rematch in with Bavar, you need to start putting in, putting your game plan in the motion in the now. In the now. Because I think you're going to need to do that with David Benavidez. You're going to be looking, you're going to need to look to score gonna need to look to score fuck all that trying to punch through him and all that that dude ain't gonna when y'all fight because i got a feeling y'all gonna fight for fucking uh, mexican independence day when y'all fight you may not he may come in but he may come in at a cruise as a cruiserweight or at least a light heavyweight so you may not be able to punch through that guard you may not be able to hurt him so you need to look to go in there and look to score you need to go in there and use these cats as a template on how you can do before Go in there and look to set shit up and score. Do not go in there trying to blow, just, 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 just blow through everybody. That, that, nah, bro, that shit is out. That shit over with. That's over with. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here with that. Get back to that old Canelo. Get back into that Canelo that fought Danny Jacobs. Get back to the counter punching Canelo. Learn, learn when to turn on to be the pressure fighter. Learn when to learn when to be the pressure fighter, and learn how to revert back to being the counter puncher. Because I still think you're one of the baddest counter punchers. You're probably the best counter puncher in boxing right now. You're probably the best counter puncher in boxing. Probably the best. So, don't let what Bivol said go to your head. Let that shit roll off your shoulders. All right, cool. So that means you should be giving me a rematch. All right, bet. Start start, start cultivating that game plan now. So when it's time for you to actually fight him, you can execute it. It'd be far more effective. You may not win, <clears throat> but you can get four rounds. You can get four rounds. <coughs> but 
But um, yeah, I'm finally at the cribbage. I'm about to go in here and put my TV up and all that, man. So um, I said what I said. I get with y'all later. Deuces.